Ladies, we are at a department store that I have been to since I was zero, so 55 years. It has a place in my heart more than Harrods or Harvey Nichols because I grew up around here when I was very small and this is Peter Jones, which is a part of John Lewis. John Lewis is a big, for those of you watching from abroad, it's a big UK chain, but Peter Jones is a very particular store and they have this beautiful store with the worst windows in London in terms of the in, what's in the windows, but the most amazing windows. <laughs> it's kind of a classic. Um, and let's go inside. What I always love about John Lewis is that they have this thing about John Lewis and partnership, John Lewis partnerships. Um, they've changed how they say it. Basically, everyone who works here sort of ha is a partner in the store. And what it means is everyone you ask about anything in the store is so unbelievably helpful, more than any other store. And I love that. Um, customer service is like, there's nothing like it. But for clothing, it's been hit and miss for me, if I'm really honest. I wanted to say, when I was very little, it was totally relevant. My mum got me clothes from Peter Jones. It was the only place she was really prepared to shop. My mother, by the way, hates clothes shopping. Can I just say this? So where on earth I got my habit of clothes shopping? God knows where. My sister and I discussed it the other day. My mother would rather do anything than take her shopping. Um, so they have a classic thing that on the ground floor is everything they were known for, which is their beautiful china and glassware and, and duvets and sheets, all that stuff. First floor is beauty, which we'll do another day. And um, it's really expanded too. It used to be just this side. Now look, it's all the way around. And then first floor is fashion. I would in fact say first floor is clothes because not always fashion. I've come here very rarely for me in the last years but I've come here a lot for my mum. And what I challenge for me today is to think, can I dress stylishly in Peace Jones? Because there's lots of brands here that we know. You know, there's a bit of Ralph Lauren, there's a bit of J. Crew, there's a bit of all these other brands. Not all inexpensive, they have their own range too. They're all little concessions here that you would get on a lovely high street in a chic town like Marlowe or Guildford. Um, so it's a very Middle England classic. Doesn't take a huge amount of risks in fashion, but there's also some things like Alice Templey does arrange for them. And Chloe and I have been here before and got these gorgeous dresses, the ones where you thought we were wearing big nipples, but they were lovely dresses. So let's have a look and let's see what I can find. <laughs> so let's start with J. Crew because J. Crew. I also haven't been to for ages because Jade Crew went through a bit of a bad phase and so I just want to see what they've got now. Doing a bit of summer leopard, nice, a bit of summer leopard, classic little skirt there. Um, what's interesting is because I know you have a thing about fast fashion, some of you, but you know when I see things that are sort of 100% more than Zara and they're to me a similar item, I feel really like, why would I even come here? So I've got to find something which is much better made or what I call a kind of permanent classic in my wardrobe. So that, it's a leopard skirt. It's not a, it's not a special leopard skirt. Um, it's not a special leopard skirt. Okay, trenches. Let's look at trenches. Now, let's look at that. That's interesting because that's actually a really nice leopard print. How do we feel about a summer leopard trench? Um, now, a two in America is a six in the UK, so I'm going to go for a four if they have it. Um, it's always two sizes up. There's a double zero, there's a zero, so I'm just going to do the two because there isn't anything else. Now, I'm going to just try this on. Um, I've, I'm never somebody who's been into trench coats, but it's something. It's quite sharp, it's quite nice actually. Um, the sleeve for me is a little bit short, but it's beautifully made. Um, it's a kind of fun transitional piece, you know, when it's like this weather today, it's May and it's 11 degrees, so, you know, it's good for that. I do actually quite like it. I didn't think I'd like it as much as I do. And the hood I think you can take off. I don't think you have to have. Do you have to have the, No, you don't have to have them. So this is £330. You know, that's kind of like for us, used to high street shopping, that is quite expensive. So we're not saying it's all cheap here. This I love, this print. I don't know what it's going to be like. 
it's a crop trouser um, like that. Let me just get one so like that. So I love the idea of the animals, crop trouser. It's a little bit short for me. Um, and then a shirt to match. So it's that classic thing that I do a lot, like I've got on today from Serena Butte, actually. Um, but I think the colours are divine. And I might have to try that on, actually. Do you think? Yes. But they might only have, like, they've got double zero or a big size. We'll see. Let's see if we can get one. Let's go round the store and come back and see what else we can find. All right, now GOAT is a label started by, I think, two girls many, many years ago. And I used to buy a lot of it. They did the best trousers. Um, and they did really cool clothes. I'm looking here and I'm thinking, lovely dresses, block colours, very safe. My thing that I think is the sexiest thing they've got is this dress like that. But you can tell it's a safe label when they put all ready for you a little a little hook and eye there because you know they want to feel that you're going to not want to show too much and it's that kind of customer but that is 700 pounds it's a lot but still you'll have it for years you know then then they have classic dresses so if you're somebody who's a real classic person you know that is your classic dress beautifully made british designed 495 pounds not for me okay modern rarity Modern rarity I've only ever found or only ever heard about in John Lewis and I do like it. They have kind of nice layering hanging pieces. So that's a lovely piece you could tuck in at the front and have it hanging out the back. The colour is pretty, um, you know, cost wise it is £100. It's silk, you could wear it with a lovely jacket over it, you know. Their things are things like boiled wools and silks. The colours are clean. That's £120. So it's sort of, you know, expensive high street or young or, or, or young designery. I think that actually is a rather pretty shirt, which you can have done up at the front. I mean, tucked in at the front and draping at the back. Really pretty colours for summer. Uh, and that's going to be, how much is that? £90. But yeah, so they're, they're not killing us here with the price point for designer. Um, this is all the same again. Some things again, you see, you go from that to something like that, that is again that layering piece. But for me, that print is just so fuddy-duddy. It's like, and then also you've got a knit like that sort of rather bad M&S knit. So it's like those two rails have a very different relationship with each other. Um, here again, camel, for me, camel hell. Um, hats, accessory, toast, hobs. All these British labels you asked me to look at. Here we are, perfect opportunity. So many of you said to me, can you review Hobbs? When did I last shop in Hobbs? When I had my column in the Daily Telegraph and I used to get, and some of you watching might remember, those flat brown leather boots that were pull on and they were brilliant. I had them brown and black in about 10 pairs. That's all I wore to cover my thick calves. So looking now, they're interpreting the British summer in the classic British designer way of a classic British designer. Somebody left their coffee cup. Um, linens. You know how I feel about linens. It's crease hell to me. Linens and quite loud prints. But that's sort of, you know, that's a lovely 1950s retro print. So on a kind of cute girl with long flowing hair like our Lulu, take it up a bit. Could be gorgeous on me. Whoa, I've gone to another era, so not for me. Again here, you know, that sort of classic summer cotton frock, but I mean, scary, big, loud print. Um, just no, no, I'm de I am desperate to find something here that I like. That, I've been in the jungle, but I'm linen again, and then I'm going to put that tea towel around the back and bring it around here. No, okay. And we got some classics. Okay, look here, lovely, lovely, lovely. That could be something lovely. Yes, yes, I found something. Navy um, pantsuit. Has potential, a bit of drape over your tummy. Um, there's some kind of drapery going on here. So I presume you pull these in to give you a nice waist and you bring it round the front. I think that could be chic and I'm going to try it on. Oh, I found another nice thing. Little red jacket, you know. You could do that over jeans with a white t-shirt. Um, that is, that is 
£179. I'd rather buy a better cut in Zara. Okay, I like that. Navy trench. Smart. Let me try it on for you ladies. I want to feel that there's something good here. So, so this is... This, is a, this can't be a 10. This can't be a 10. Uh, UK 18. Okay. So it's good it goes up to a size 18. That's great. Love that. I'm now going to go to this small size. It's too small for me, but just to give it more fit, I'm feeling I want to go a size down. This is actually an English size four, and I'm usually an eight or a 10. So they do size up here, but you know, it's nice. For me, it's a bit short. I am quite tall, but if you're five foot five and you want a nice navy trench and you want it well made, British made, that's nice. And it will last and it is well made. You know, that's, that's a great thing. These are well made clothes. Um, that is 199 pounds. Okay, I've, I've had enough of Hobbs. I found two nice things in here. Toast, another British label. This is a mail order business originally, Toast, and they have done lovely sort of, I've always bought their kind of at home lounge wear, like sort of tops and bottoms you can wear indoors that aren't quite pajamas. They love that. I like, you know, I like the fact they've done a bit of eye cap print. They're a little bit more hippy dippy um, as a brand. It's a lovely dress the lady's holding. You know, that's, that's a pretty dress. Very nice print, classic style, not going to give you a nipped in waist. If you're somebody who wants to hide a bit of your tummy and you want to wear something cool in the summer, then that's a lovely print. I love that print. I might be inclined to wear it back to front and belt it with a fun, cool belt to make it something a bit more special because I think this is a very, very old fashioned neckline. Um, 225, nice skirt. That with a t-shirt, a white t-shirt, that's a really pretty skirt actually. Um, any age can wear that. And then, you know, like a black patent belt or a white belt, the one from thing, 150 pounds. It's got pockets. It better have pockets. It's got pockets, 150 pounds. And this is, you know, this is not, this is not um, fast fashion, is it, at this price? That, that's, that's a pretty print. I mean, this is something that when I was in India at Anuki, they had these and they would have been 16 pounds. This is 120 pounds, literally. They would have been 16 pounds Anuki and this is probably made by Anuki. The fabric smells of Anuki, feels like Anuki and is a print of Anuki. And they're charging 120 quid. I, and it's got that lovely detail there. And it's got the button, but you know, this is the shirt I would have bought at Anuki. All right, I think we've done this. Who's that? Hush. Okay, hush. Hush up, hush. But that's nice. I love a pineapple. <laughs> that You'd wear that, Chloe. You know, and I then love a pineapple too. you love a pineapple too. <laughs> and then it's got this drawstring. I'm always one. When I look at a drawstring, I just think how to how to not flatter your waist. Uh, so I would always take out the drawstring and put in a nice belt because I just think it's more flattering. I've seen one nice thing from Goat. <laughs> that that could be really chic if you have good legs. Just like Jackie O chicness. That's what they're good at. You know, is that classic pretty um, thing, 580 pounds. All right, so what else has Hush got to offer us? T-shirt dress. I haven't seen T-shirt dress since sort of, since I don't know when, kind of Vivian Westwood days in the 80s. That is 59 pounds. Pottering around in your garden or on a beach, could do. T-shirt dresses are incredibly comfortable. Um, I keep saying the word comfort here, don't I? That I like. We like palm trees too. That's a great color with a white pair of jeans. Actually, I love, I love that. I think it's fab and that is 49 pounds. That's great. I would, you know, nice, nice sweatshirt that. Then we've got boiler suit, you know, like that. Chloe, you do these a bit, but you would do in a, like a khaki green, you know? So I don't know how that looks because to me, the fabric already looks a bit tired. It's 75 pounds. The sleeves are, yeah. I can't, I, can I just say that is not made any better than Zara clothing? I'm sorry, I'm just being a bit ruthless. They've got denim here, they've got Paige and J Brown, that's great. Okay, what is this one? And or. Never seen it before. Exclusively a John Lewis, so it might be a John Lewis brand, I don't know, I'm presuming that. I don't know who it's for, but let's just look at it and see if we would find it appealing. So, a pair of jeans, how are they done? 
that's a kind of mum jean, um, slightly cropped. Then they've got a skinny jean, nice skinny jean that, with a little bit of kind of slightly tapered. That's quite nice. That's quite nice. That's now 44 pounds. That's cute. Yeah, that's cute. Little dress, easy. But it's, it's okay. Barber, we all know about Barber. I mean, I think Barber are trying to compete now with Uniglo, um, but they make them better, 109 pounds. Probably warmer than Uniglo, but I don't know. Uniglo is a 49, I think, 39. Colors are interesting. Oh, whistles, Madewell and whistles, come on. Come on, whistles. I shopped in whistles when I was like 30 and Suzanne and I started to do what not to wear and loved it. They did lots of different labels and they were like the cool store and they were in St. Christopher's Place and it was like an emporium of discovering new labels. Now, whistles is only their own label. So, what have they got to offer? Ah, we've got another t-shirt dress. So, this is navy clean. It's done like a cool t-shirt, but it's made it into a dress. And that is um, 89 pounds. It's kind of, you know, that is classic. If you have a good shape, um, I'd say a navy t-shirt dress in the summer with a pair of white plimsolls and a cool crossbody bag, great uniform piece of clothing. A navy blazer, let's just have a look at a navy blazer. This is a size small, it is 149 pounds. It's a size small, which is interesting, all right. And this, I don't quite know the purpose of this, I'd kind of keep it there actually. I'd probably keep it behind like that because if you've got a double breastedness, I don't know if I want to be taking this tie and messing around the front and doing that. So Kin, which is looking to be Scandi or is Scandi, I'd kind of love that. And if I was a little bit shorter, I would love just, you know when you want something you throw on to run out to the shop. I don't know if they designed it for that. And also, has it got a pocket? Yes, it has. I can put my money and phone in there and go and get the milk, but look good. That, that's what I'd wear. Okay, what else has Kin got only here? This is a John Lewis brand. So they've got a little bit of a liney dress with a drop sleeve. That's like a sort of kimono and a dress had a baby together. This would be great over a cropped white um, trouser with a plimsoll. That would be really cool. Um, and then you could wear some cool beads. I, I think that would work. And there's some more dresses like that here. Here's another one. That's a kind of cute dress. You could do that with a little gold chain belt and some high heels. I'm not going wowza wowza, but I'm going yes, like, like this. Look, exactly the way she's worn it. So that, which is nice, so it's not wearing it like that, it's wearing it, it's belted, she's got cool jeans on underneath, some boots definitely not from here. But that's very Scandi with a white polar neck underneath. If this was block colour, this could be cos. Um, so I do like that and I think it would work. Where the white polar neck is though, it's like if they're going to show that as a look, then merchandise it so you have the white polar neck and that and the jean together, please. That would be very helpful for a consumer, that's £79. It's a cool piece, actually. Here we've got another, very similar, each of these, they have, you know, they have a boiler suit, they have a dress that's linen, they have whatever. That's a kind of boiler suit. You, you know, this is a very thick fabric. I have a girlfriend of mine who is probably a size 12, um, 14, and she wears boiler suits every day, Sasha, and she looks really cool in them because she sort of wears them with a white trainer, with a mad, she collects trainers, and sort of just, she looks good in them and she does them up and it's her uniform and, and it's her identity. So, you know, she knows it isn't something that shows off all her figure, but it's something that makes her a standout woman in her way. So that's what I think a boiler suit does for a woman. It's very difficult for them to be incredibly flattering piece of clothing, but they do have a place in a wardrobe for a woman who wants to have that slight edgy coolness um, and not just be in a boring dress. Mint Velvet, this is your classic Marlowe shop. I have seen the shop on the High Street in Marlowe when I've been to take my mum out shopping. And they did start, I think, their life with these lovely tops, stretchy-ish. Um, and some of them were had like velvet ribbon and stuff. So they've branched out since then. This is probably 15 years ago. 
Um, but they are a company of sort of separates and t-shirts and tops and that kind of thing. So, you know, little um, inspired by Marcus look for uh, lip on the t-shirt look with a little bit of embellishment and that's going to set you about 45 pounds. Um, you know, so if you want that sort of smart casual top, you might find it here. They're jeans. Um, there's a little high-waisted jean. Uh, for me personally, if you've got long legs, I love this look for jean. If you have short legs, that to me is disturbing when they have the buttons externally on the fly because I think it gives undue attention if you have a bit of a tummy or a shorter leg. Another jumpsuit. Oh, another brand, another jumpsuit. Um, but that's, that's, I like the drape of that. It's got a little um, slightly tighter thing. If you wore that, again, I'll dress it down. Sort of, yeah, yeah, 119 pounds. This is John Lewis, Lewis's own label. Um, so this is, actually, I bought my mum a dress from here, which is really a great dress um, in red, and it was in the sale, 49 pounds. It was fab, she loves it. So there are good things here. I do like that. I love that shirt. I love the color of it. I would wear, again, like in the, in the picture below, like a navy, a narrow navy uh, jean. Um, and it's 65 pounds. It's got quite a long sleeve. It's really nice, really good. And then in orange as well, a shirt dress like that um, with a belt. I would kind of cut off the loop, take that away and put it, your own belt there, but great color for summer. Again, I would undo the last three buttons and wear it over something and layer it if you don't want it to look too classic. Here a little, this is the one time I will buy linen on a white linen shirt because, you know, if you're in, you know, you've got a bit of sunburn and you're in Greece in the summer and you put on that, that's going to cool your body temperature down the most. You won't sweat in it, um, but it will have creased a lot in your suitcase. So you've just got to allow for the shower to try and bring out those uh, creases. It's 59 pounds. The thing about linen shirts is they last forever, but they can yellow. So it's about getting a good, when you've um, worn them all summer, really clean them, white, 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 clean them with bleach, but not too much, not a bleach that's gonna eat into the linen, and then cover them with something when you put them away, because otherwise they, they just turn a little bit over the years. Red coat, this is in the sale, this is 140 pounds. It was 199 pounds. Nice red coat. You got cashmere, you got cashmere? That's cashmere? Yes, it's cashmere. Um, just a big baggy jumper um, with a white t-shirt underneath and a white jean that's pretty not so much shape to it little coral trouser with a white sheet, white top you know these are I've got to say this is what you'd buy in Zara um, 59 pounds in Zara they would be they would be 29 pounds I think this length of pedal pusher is is not a length that I love. I like an ankle length more than this because I think if you're very long legged and you've got thin calves, it's an okay length. But if you're not, it ends on your mid calf. And I think it's not the easiest, most flattering length um, to end on. Mint velvet again. I like those white buttons like that. They, well, I'll tell you what's good is the sizes, like this is a size, I was about to say that must be a size 16, it's huge, but it's a size 10. Okay. Jigsaw, I think they do just the basic range from Jigsaw here. I don't think they do, that's a pretty skirt actually, that's really pretty, that skirt. That's lovely. That you could do with a little white t-shirt and some plimpsoles, I keep saying the same thing, I apologise. That is 98 pounds. So my Mi and M1 is, is more than that. Um, this is not too dissimilar. Uh, and then you've got a little jacket that you could wear with it, the same tone. I'd miss out on the floral shirt probably and just do um, like a white top. That's quite a nice trouser there. Just kind of lovely color, beautiful color actually. They're very, very good with their colors jigsaw. And that is 110 pounds. The idea of that is nice, of having a bit of chiffon over a, what is really a t-shirt dress. Um, and that's quite nice. That's 149 pounds. If you're working and you want to have a little jacket over and you have to be quite formal at work, that would be quite pretty. 
let's see what Max Mora have to offer. So, that's a beautiful coat. Interesting they have this colour now, because this is a real wintry, wintry colour. But really beautiful coat. It's probably going to be about £500. That's the thing. £800. Yeah. Stunning. But I just don't know many people who are going to buy a wool coat now in that shade. Pink coat. Max Mara is a label that people will have for years and years. And people have bought Max Mara. I have had a, like I had a lovely yellow Max Mara dress I bought years ago and a white dress I bought two years ago. And they last forever, the clothes. So it is investment dressing. So that if you wanted a pink coat and it's classic and you know, there would be a pink coat like this 10 years ago in their collection, similar, but it's 680 pounds. It's probably got cashmere in it. Not fully cashmere, it's cashmere and wool mix, it feels like. We got a kind of long dress. That's actually a pretty long dress. I like that because I love the fact it's full, full length. And I would maybe, you know, look at wearing that if you dressed it up. Again, I would change the belt because I think as soon as you put a cool belt on that, it becomes a more expensive dress. And this is actually, this is 435 pounds anyway. That is, that is very pretty. That actually is very pretty, that dress. That's lovely. Um, the sleeve is interesting. I just wonder if I had been designing this, would I have done something different with the sleeve? Would I have just done something sort of softer? I think I would have done a little pretty softer sleeve here, perhaps. I think that's very shirt-like. And even though this is shirt-like, the print is very feminine. And I think that you want to have something feminine when you're doing a, sh a dress like that to soften it. And I think wearing a shirt sleeve on a dress that's costing you 410 pounds, you know, you're, but it is, that is very pretty. I might try that on. It's like now, I, s I mean, I know why Alice Templey is designing for John Lewis because they need it so badly for a woman like myself who wants to come in and find a designer dress at a better price with all the values of that designer in there. So when I come here, I'm like, what a relief. What a relief. You know, there's a plain black dress, but the length is right. The sleeve has got a lovely length to it. There's four buttons. It's got a decollete, which isn't giving me a little hook and eye to stop me being sexy. Um, it's 99 pounds. It's got a stretchy back. It's actually trousers as well. Um, and it's kind of got pockets too. I mean, that's lovely, simple, clean, great, love it. Little star dress. She's done a little plain sleeve, and is it a dress or a pantsuit? At the front, it looks like a dress, and at the back, it's trousers. Okay. Then we've got, she'll do this every season. Let me get you out. She'll do, she does this every season. She'll always do a leopard print dress, and that, Chloe, you'd wear that dress, wouldn't you? I mean, it's just a nice length. Um, it's a nice leopard print. Uh, it's got a good arm. It's got a stretchy end. You could put it up and wear it that length and, and have it just below your elbow or bring it all the way down. And they always go in the sale because Chloe, we got those ones in the sale and they were like 140 pounds and then probably you'll get in the sale for about 60 or 70. Um, then we've got here a little inspiration on one of her classic jackets. Um, this has a tag like this, so it must be expensive for them. £199, but, you know, a little sort of like a smoking jacket, Austrian, Bavarian, um, something. There's, there's a lot going on there, but it's very Alice, and she does this on her really expensive jackets. So it's really nice when you see, when a designer is doing a diffusion label, sometimes they just throw it out there but I do feel always she has such careful consideration that you could wear these pieces and think one day I'll save up to buy an expensive one because you see those elements um, on her design. There's a classic, this is a classic um, print as well, a classic Alice print, Templey print. Um, again, this is a flop, very floppy. It is a very low rise jumpsuit but because you've got this crossover here you don't see the low rise and when you wear it at the back because it's gathered you don't really see that it's a jumpsuit it just has the flexibility that goes with a jumpsuit and I like that idea that's 99 pounds um, then we've got 
really pretty little leopardy dress again. That's £99 as well. Let's just face it, most of the dresses I picked up are that price. We've got separates here. We've got some, this is also very temperly, but there's some floppy trousers like that and a shirt. I mean, that's, it could be simpler as a concept. I'm going to try that on, actually. I think that's a really easy thing and um, you can dress it up or down. And a little leather jacket, I think I'm seeing here. Hold on. Is this leather or faux leather? That's probably leather. It's leather. Um, I love the suede and leather combo. And it's £260. And it's got a star on the back. Cool. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Really cute. Um, then we've got a classic, another classic. Wide, um, very wide pleated trousers with a high waist. And, you, you know, Alice would wear this probably with a big uh, black, she used to do this actually, because I remember I bought her first collection with a big black Spanish hat um, and a white shirt and then a high-waisted black trouser. Really great look. Never goes off as a look. Reese, God, I could go on here forever. Reese is, you know, we always think of Kate Middleton. Where are we? We always think of Kate Middleton when we look at Reese and Maybe I've just come to the slightly forward-thinking part of John Lewis. And you think of that fitted little back dress shape, shift dress, but with a bit of something. And that's what Reese are. So, you know, that is actually a very pretty white sleeveless dress. Um, classic Reese look. I can see Kate Middleton in it now. And they're probably about two or three hundred pounds, I think. Let's just have a look. This is 250 pounds. Um, then you've got a trouser suit in a mint green, lovely colour for this season, one of the pastel shades that's strong this season. And I've seen pink and blues, I haven't seen this so much, but it is a beautiful shade if you suit it. A wonderful on a cool blonde. Um, and nice shaped jacket. That's a, that's a good trouser suit. Um, then we've got a little sexy top for the evening, a little bit of something shimmery that you wear underneath a trouser suit, don't know what it's like until I put it on. Um, then you've got a suit in cream, if you suit cream. I kind of wish they'd done it in white, but that's that. Um, that's, that's, I think, the dress we're seeing on the lady up there. Just a simple little dress, pretty dress. I don't know how that is. I think that's quite nice. 185 pounds. Trench coat clean trench coat without that double trench facing which you normally have on trench coats so that probably hangs really well and um, I might take that and try it with my my little um, Alice Templey stuff here uh, anything else I want to show you I think we've done it I think we've done it yeah I think we have so what can I tell you I feel that there are little gems in John Lewis in Peter Jones in this kind of department store we have in England where it's um, a middle range but I think what's happening which is really interesting is that some of these brands to me and I am 55 just look so aging and I wouldn't want to buy into them and there are some women I know who feel they want really safe fashion and there's a safety by coming to this store because they know they can get things that they will get year in, year out, and they, they won't feel challenged by things. And occasionally they'll throw in uh, Alice Templey, Somerset, or a Reese or something. But I think the price points are interesting because, you know, I know Zara's fast fashion, and I know that some of those other stores are, but some of the things I pick up here that are a double the price point of Zara, I don't know, in fact, if they're both as ethically good as each other but I want to feel inspired when I go shopping and I'm not inspired enough yet. John Lewis, Peter Jones, can I just say that to you? So if you want to bring us other 55 year olds into your store, just have a few more things like, like, like Somerset, just to kind of bring us here more often because then we might see the other things and find some other stuff because it is easier to go to a department store. It's easier than going down the high street. Sometimes we love to go down the high street because we want to support our high streets. Um, but that's my take on it. I'd definitely bring my mum here. Um, I definitely know I can find 
sizes, probably up to size 18 comfortably, and in some, I'm sure John Lewis goes up to size 20. Um, I think the John Lewis own label collection is actually good, better than some of the other ones where they put another name on the front to, to make it seem Scandi or gender free or gender fluid and or whatever it might be. But I'm going to try this on now and let's see if we can end on a high note, put something on that I'll feel really excited by.